So the last part kabisa ni creating logic system sasa ukipewa kwenye maelezo word problems. So perhaps the most common application of switching logic is creating a logic system to meet a given specification. Unaweza ukawa ume design tu saka inataka iwe hivi, kibonyeza hii, na hii ikiwa on na hii ikiwa on, basi iwe on, hii ikiwa off, hii ikiwa on, hii iwe on. Kwa such specifications you can convert them na ukapata circuit mabidu zi arrange vipi. So normally by reading specification carefully the system designer can almost see the required logic system. For example, you have, you want a burglar alarm system ambayo ita mu identify muizi ya kiingia. To sound ituwe sauti. Kama master switch is on. Kwa utatengeneza samu ya mbapu kutakuwa na master switch. Ikiwa on. Ikiwa on. Sawa. And either light beam is broken or pressure pad is stood down so call laba pale chini mwizi ya kiingia kakanyaga ikatengeneza pressure flani ika switch on pressure pad so laba kukawa na mwanga semu akipita tu haka ublo kule mwanga so laba kandwa hame switch light beam hame block kwa hame switch on hame block au neze kawa according to your presence hame let ya switch on haki block na kuwa off So you can draw a logic diagram Tangalea a logic Naiza ni katengeneza na mnagani Amboi ika sweet e condition So from the specification You know that we have Three inputs Tuna master switch, tuna light sensor Tuna pressure pad It has one output Ambo ni alarm bell na BD The bell should go to logic one Bell it means it should be on If The master switch is one, and either the light beam goes off, or the pressure pad goes to logic one. Okay. So, according to the question, you want you want the burglar system to sound if the master switch is on. Chakwanza, you under condition chakwanza be dissatisfied, and either. Either huyu hapa Au huyu hapa is Switch the one It means since there is an O There should be a combination of this To work out with the master switch Ili switch alarm on Mbana umona huyu hapa Kwa mba master switch and Either O huyu hapa It means our ni O gate Our O gate Amboi na bidi wae combined Pamoja na our master switch To the balgaram system so not that the alarm has to be triggered when the light beam is broken and so a not gate is needed so don't worry just wanted to show you how to reach about kusabu anacho maanisha hapa the alarm system has to be triggered when the light beam is broken so that means if you are broken lazima kuena a not gate ya kui switch on sababu ikiwa broken manaki meizima iwe zero sawa na anataka combination ili ii iwe one sawa lazima ui wae one na ui wae one otherwise moja hapa kiwa zero si zero sindio sasa ili hawa hawa we one sindio ili hawa we one tayari pressure amesha ikanyaga pressure it's okay is one lakini ame block kwa hiyo ameizima right beam ameizima ni zero. Kwa lazima tu negate hapa. Ili match characters za kuleta one iende one na hii iwe one na hii. Ndio maana sasa we need a not gate kwenye right beam. Ndio maana unaona hapa kwenye right beam kuna not gate ambayo ataziconvert jamaa kizima hii ita ita, ita convert wash ili iwe one one hapa alarm ile. So in other words you need two input and gate na hiyo as it has shown below the truth table is as shown there so simply they are solved like that so we can see an example for instance you have an aircraft door is locked by two bolts we have bolts a bolts b so we have two inputs already there each of which operates a sensor giving logic one when bolt a is fully inserted and we have a further sensor c which gives logic or output when the door is shut okay so when the door is shut we have another sensor which is c okay so we have how many inputs we have one two and three inputs when the door is shut okay 
uh, so we have input za bolt na input za ku shut door okay so we have three inputs so a circuit using logic gate is required to give logic output this is the condition ambayo sasa inabidi uangalie finally ukishajua input ziko ngapi kwanza kabisa ni kujua input ziko ngapi okay so we know an aircraft door is locked by two bolts a and b each of which operates a sensor giving logic one when the bolt is fully inserted so ikiwa fully inserted hii itakuwa one ikiwa fully inserted hii itakuwa one okay then we have another sensor c ambayo inabidi operate na our bolt sawa so, lakini hii sensor c ina give logic zero output when the door is shut sawa so, when the door is shut yenyewe ndio ina ina sense kutoa logic ya zero okay so a circuit using logic gate is required to give you you want to give output ya one only when both bolts are inserted when both are one one and the door is shut when the sensor C senses it is one then you want it to read one okay so you want a condition whereby when it is one 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 okay when it is one 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 the output should be one okay that's the only condition where you want it to be one otherwise you want all these others to be zero okay you want all these others to be zero so you have an aircraft door is locked by two bolts a and b each of which operates a sensor giving logic one when bolts are fully inserted you remember when they are fully inserted is a logic one so bolts when both bolts are inserted it means they are supposed to read one and one so another sensor c which is another input in a give logic zero when the door is shut so when the door is shut in a read zero okay so a circuit is required to give logic output one only when both bolts are inserted and the door is shut so, so when both both when I, any trick here maswali iko kwenye hizi terms both so and both means a and b have to be joined and because both it means a and b it means a and b both so a and b are connected to a nand gate so because they are both they are connected to a nand gate they are connected to a nand gate a and b so hizo zikiwa both so also the door has to be shut lakini door ikiwa shut door ikiwa shut door ikiwa shut ina read zero sensor c ina read zero so lakini tunataka end the door ikiwa shut it means watakao patikana hapa wawe connected na end na hao do ikiwa shut sasa hawezi wakawa zero kwa sababu connect end wakiwa na zero itakuwa one times zero itakuwa ni zero so the only way ni ku negate e zero kwa uki negate e zero it means c itakao ingia ni c ambayo iko negated because iki close yenyewe ndio ina read zero na bidi we negate ili endane na hao wakiwa connected hao end huyu waje ku form f ambayo ina switch tumeelewa Therefore kwenye truth table yetu it means condition hiyo ni kwa kutumia logic unaweza kupata lakini njia nyingine unaweza kutumia truth table unaweza kutumia truth table kwa kusema hivi kwamba condition yetu ambayo itatupa 1 f sawa ni unasema kwamba nina a nina b nina c afu nina output f ambayo ninatakiwa ipige sasa na output kwa hiyo nakuwa na columns ngapi nane one two three four five six seven eight okay kone za kwanza zero 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 one 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 zero zero one one zero zero one one zero one zero one zero one zero one okay so nataka nataka a circuit using is required to give logic output iwe 1 only when both bolts are inserted it means ikiwa 1 
and the door is shut door is shut it means ikiwa c ikiwa ina read nini c ikiwa ina read 0 kwa sababu door ikiwa shut c ina read 0 so popote kwenye 110 110 na sema nini ina read 1 output kwa 110 ina read 1 sawa so, 1 1 0 inatakiwa read 1 so all other all these others is not equated zero kwa sababu i satisfy conditions zetu za swali so kama tunabaki na hiyo tunaweza tukaona tulisema tukijoin one tuna join kwa end so ili kupata ili kupata f it means lazima tuzijoin kwa end so tuna join kwa a times b lazima iwe negated so a times b times c ambayo iko negated sawa so, kwa automatically inakuwa ni 1 2 3 a b na c ambayo iko negated so this is one way ndio maana nikasema maswali ya boolean yana value circuits ukitumia hii circuits unapata sawa sana ukitumia hii circuit kwa sababu kwa sababu mimi nime interpret hivyo hii circuit mwingine anaweza ka interpret kwamba you have uh, an and gate here sawa so, ambayo and gate unakuja kuijoin na kwa and gate nyingine na c kwa una and gate ambayo inakuwa ni a na b a na b inakuwa joined na and gate nyingine lakini kwa c ambayo iko negated ndio hapo mwingine anaweza kaamua kuzigroup kwa hii huku kwamba una and gate ambayo ina b na c negated lakini ukaja kuijoin kwa and gate tena yenye a kwa ukaja kujoin na a kwenye and gate nyingine so either way so you can see how these answers are solved easily kama namna hiyo so nyingine unaweza ukajaribu hapa kamba an automobile manufacturer needs logic circuit to perform specific task in its new line of cars this cars will be equipped with headlight left on alarm that sounds any time these two conditions are met the first conditions lazima headlight iwe on ignition iwe off draw the schematic diagram of logic get circuit which will implement this alarm constructed entirely out of nan gates caucus kale strict usitumie gate nyingine yote zaidi ya nand sawa so, usitumie gate yote zaidi ya nand kwao tunaweza tukaangalia input zetu ni mbili kwao unaweza kutumia logic kama nilivyosema mwanzo ukachora gate yako ambao logic hiyo utakao tumia ni kwamba unataka output ya 1 okay wataka output ya 1 only when huyu end huyu it means unawajui ni kwa end the only point ambao unaweza ukawajui ni kwa end wakaleta 1 kwa kumnegate na ni ignition switch kwa hiyo utakuwa na end saa ambayo ina headlight h na nini na negated ignition ili kuswitch alarm yako on sawa kwa na kuwa h dot i dash lakini kwa vile ame to restrict ame to restrict sisi tutumia nini kwa to restrict sisi tutumia nand gate only kwa tunaweza tuka amua kutumia nand gate tu kwa mfano badala ya huyu i not gate ulisema not gate ni saa saa na ukichukua fused input za nand gate kwa tunza tukasema sa, tunza tukasema kwa mba badala ya u not gate tukaweka nand gate ok ambaya na fused ana fused kutoka kwa ignition sawa so, lakini uyu bado ni and gate kwa tunza tukamconvert na yaka nand gate sawa so, lakini tume badili maana kwa sababu kum, inabidi tumtoe huyu hapa ili turudishe maana yetu kumtoa huyu hapa tutaongeza 
nandi geti nyingine ambayo iko fused ili kuondoa hii negation kwa automatically hii inarudi kama hivi ndio hii hapa sawa njia nyingine kwa kuchora truth table sawa tuna input ya ignition na headlight on na alarm sawa kwa hiyo ya 0 0 1 1 0 1 0 1 sisi tunataka huku one when head is on and ignition ikiwa off. Kwa head ikiwa one ignition ikiwa off tunapataka one. Maana otherwise hizi zingine zote zinabaki zero. Kwa tukitumia ones tuna join kwa end. Kwa hiyo inabidi iwe iwe negated. Kwa h dot i ambayo iko negated. Kwa kuchora get hapa unaona kwamba ni and get ambayo ina h na ina i ambayo ina not get so kwa vile swali limetu restrict tutumie nand gets only ndo tutarudi kwenye hiyo point ya so you can challenge yourself again follow up question suppose the alarm unit required more current than the final nand get could source add a transistor buffer stage to the logic circuit to drive additional current to the alarm challenge question explain how the no get explain how the following no get circuit performs exact the same logic function with fewer components so it's kama vile tulivyokuwa tuna simplify ni kama simplify this circuit kwa utachora truth table sawa utai simplify equation yetu kama hivyo but my important part ni huku huku wengine sio kwa muhimu sana ni jinsi ya kuelewa jinsi ya kufanya hivyo hapo So you can also solve this question. An automotive engineer wants to design a logic circuit that prohibits engine car in a car from being started. Unless kwa hiyo engine itakuwa haiwaki. Unless kwa engine itawaka engine itawaka only when driver ana place clutch pedal. Kwa driver ki place clutch pedal while turning the ignition switch to the start position ignition switch you will turn it to the start position the purpose of this feature will be to prevent the car from moving forward na kama mna ni mzoefu wa kuendesha gari kama gari lipo kwenye gear so, kama gari lipo kwenye gear ukiwasha gari litaanza ku move ndio maana principle ya kwanza especially kama gari ni manyo lazima uhakikishe umekanyaga brake kama gari lipo kwenye gear unataka kuliwasha kisha unakanyaga brake ili ukiwasha lisiende mbele lakini sasa sisi tunataka tuondoe hizo shida za kufanya za ku za kufanya tunataka tutengeneze automatic car sasa sawa baadaye ukanyaga clutch pedal yani kiwe ni kitu ambacho kina logic circuit yake umeona kwamba clutch gari lipo kwenye gear it means gear kuna input ya gear na yenyewe inabidi iwe kwenye gear iwe ina zirid 1 umeona so suppose we design status of ignition switch start position boolean as switch hiyo hapo ambao mimi nime enable ignition hapo the clutch pedal with boolean hiyo hapo clutch pedal hiyo hapo Write the boolean expression from the starter solenoid status given the switch s and clutch s status then draw the logic circuit to implement this boolean function remember the purpose of this feature will be to prevent the car from moving forward while being started if ever transmission is accidentally left in the gear aim yake ni kwamba kama umejisaa ukaweka gear on sawa so, ukaweka gear on engine iwe off kama hujakanyaga clutch na unataka kuwash. Umeona logic hiyo? Sawa. So, Yana chotaka yeye ni kwamba design that prohibits the engine from being started. Engine iwe imezimwa unless amekanyaga gear. Kwa it means kama hajakanyaga gear kama hajakanyaga clutch, kama hajakanyaga clutch na anataka kuwash ameweka kwenye one. Sawa. So, na ilikuwa kwenye gear sawa na hajakanyaga clutch sawa hajakanyaga clutch amewasha na gear ilikuwa on but mbaya gari lisiwake kwa sababu hajakanyaga clutch sawa kwa hiyo hichi ndo kitu ambacho yeye ana kifocus sawa kwa tutaona tuna 
input that output column moja so tuseme hii ni switch ya gari hii ni clutch ambayo inabidi ukanyage mhm mm clutch clutch pedal na hapa ni kama gear umeiacha on au la na hii ndio output therefore tuna inputs kuna kwa two power three rows nane moja mbili tatu nne tano sita saba nane okay kuna kwa zero 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 one 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 zero zero one one zero zero one one zero one zero one zero one zero one tunajua condition yetu ni kwamba tuna conditions mbili the purpose of this feature to prevent the car from moving forward while being started if ever the transmission is accidentally left in gear kwa kwa mfano kama gear iko on sawa na una starter unawasha gari lakini ulisahau ulisahau kukanyaga clutch kwa clutch ikiwa zero clutch ikiwa zero clutch ikiwa zero kwa hiyo condition nao ongelea ni kwamba mm, clutch ikiwa zero hujakanyaga clutch lakini gear umeacha bahati mbaya lakini unawasha gari switch hapa gari lisi wake kwa sababu litasababisha gari kushtuka kama nilivyosema so lakini kama umeacha umesahau gear lakini ulikanyaga clutch iko on na unataka kuwasha gari gari liwake tofauti na previous cases ni kwamba hizi huwezi tu ukajaza kwa sababu hili swali lina logic kwamba gari litawaka only when kwanza switch is ikiwa on kwa places hapa kote ambapo switch hazijawashwa gari alita waka hapa kote ambapo switch hazijawashwa gari alitawaka so gari litawaka only when switch imewashwa hiyo ni obvious lakini katika safe conditions ndio tunataka circuit yetu iallow gari liwake ukiwa na safe conditions kwa mfano hii condition switch umewasha haikuwa kwenye gear kwa hamna hatari hapo kwa hiyo hapa gari lita litawaka sawa mm -hmm. kwa sababu clutch gear hazina umuhimu hapo okay, gari hapa linaweza kuruhusiwa kuwaka na ukiwasha gari ukikanyaga clutch hamna gear it is still safe ili gari ingawa hii principle imekaa kitaalamu zaidi e, kuielewa cha muhimu ni kwamba ukiasahau gari likawa kwenye gear ukawasha bila ukanyaga clutch linashtuka kwa tunataka circuit yetu tusaidie pale ambapo tutajisahau kuacha gear tukawasha gari lazima liwake only when tumekanyaga clutch because that's the only safe level so tutajumlishia na zile condition nyingine zote ambazo gari inaweza likawaka kwa mfano kwenye condition ambayo umewasha gari hamna gear kwa hamna hatari inaweza likawaka condition nyingine ambapo umewasha gari hamna gear pili inaweza likawaka hata kama umekanyaga clutch it is still safe so finally tuna expression tatu tutachagua ones ambazo tutazitengeneza equation tutazijoin basi tamalizia swali lako as tulivyokuwa tunafanya so finally our target is nectar books to use you make sure you pass through review kwa review is very important this time advanced physics review pitia maswali yote ambayo yanahusiana hivi vitu solve hakikisha unayapata hii topic ukifaulu vizuri na uhakika mkubwa sana wa kufaulu paper 1. Kwa make sure unaichukulia serious sana. Kwa sababu ina marks nyingi. Iko paper 1 section C na maswali matatu. Of course ni option lakini ni marahisi ambao ukiamua kuyafanya unapata marks zako 30 bila chenga. For some logic gets question Nelcon can be useful as in page written there as in this page nelcon of this page and this edition can be useful there then finally visit 
S chance physics you see S chance is very rich in definitions things that consist words so kitu ambacho kinahitaji maneno chance is very very useful so pitia kwa maswali fulani anaitwa conceptual questions mwisho wa kila chapter kuna conceptual questions nenda kwa pitia tafuta definitions mbalimbali differences should be between terms should be between one thing and the other if any example advantage of big fire tafuta kwenye chandi tafuta as many as possible hakisha unakuwa competent kila aspect again visit as a books if any to solve more questions and example to keep yourself fit otherwise i wish you all the best thank you for your attention mm-hmm.